Good morning, everyone. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Perfect. Hey, everyone. Donovan Brown here with a video on Microsoft Fakes. In this video, we're going to learn how to fake events and trigger event handlers from our unit test. This video builds on information from the Intro to Microsoft Fakes video, so I suggest you watch that video first. Let's begin by first taking a quick look at what we're going to be testing. This method has a bug where if shift mechanics is null, an unhandled exception is thrown. So I want to write a unit test that exploits this bug before I fix it. Notice that this method also accesses the file system and is private. We're going to use Microsoft Fakes to isolate our code from the file system, but how are we going to be able to call this private method? Using CodeLens, let's find the reference to this method. It appears it is being called from an event handler. However, this event handler is also private. If you locate its references, you will see it's the event handler for the file system watcher created and changed events. Our goal with Microsoft Fakes is to intercept the assigning of the event handler to these events. This will allow our test to call the event handler. We're going to need to have shims created for the file system watcher class. If your MS CoreLibs Fakes file does not look like this one, you need to watch the intro to Microsoft Fakes video first. Using what you were taught in the intro to Microsoft Fakes video, ensure your system fakes file looks like this one. With the fakes files modified, build the solution to make sure there are no fakes warnings. Now we can move on to writing our test. Just as you were taught in the previous video, because we're going to be using shims, we have to create a shims context. Create a file system event handler variable to store the value assigned to the events so that we can call the event handler from our test. Now using the file system watcher shim, assign a delegate to the created add file system event handler property. This delegate will receive two arguments, the actual file system watcher object and an event handler. Simply assign the event handler to our callback variable. We also need to shim the read lines call to the file system as we did in the intro to Microsoft Fakes video. Create an instance of our target class because in the constructor is where the events are wired up. Finally, simply call the callback passing in the appropriate values and execute the test. The test fails as expected but upon further investigation, it is not for the reason we were trying to exploit. It appears the path property of the file system watcher class validates the value assigned to it. So we're going to have to intercept the assignment as well and simply do nothing. I have found that depending on how complicated the code is that I'm testing, I may have to go through several iterations of identifying what parts of the code have to be faked. Simply rinse and repeat until you get the desired results. Let's run the test again and ensure it fails for the null reference exception we are trying to fix. Now that we are failing for the correct reason, let's correct the code and run the test again to ensure that it passes. I hope you found this video on Microsoft Fakes helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'm Donovan Brown.